Now, here's a man who's on good ski form, Sebastian Samuelson, up in the top three in terms of ski speed yesterday. That, I think, will have given him encouragement. I think we're going to see him going hard. Uh, what's going to happen on the range? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, he missed one on the first two shoots. That sort of could have been pre-season nerves. I hope today he gets it a little more under control. Well, here he is, last year's champion. Uh, not in the yellow bib by his teammate yesterday, Ligrid, and uh, Johannes Tingis will want revenge. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how he skis this one, Mike. Do you think we're going to see him take 10, 15 seconds out of everyone on the first lap? Now, Samuelson, the quickest so far, and it's going to be tight between himself and Burt, but I think Samuelson might just miss out. He does by 1.3, so uh, the two Burt brothers, two of the three fastest. But both Samuelson and Burt have missed, Taribo that is, have missed on the first prone shoot. So uh, there's an opportunity here for Johannes Tingis. Well, this man's got a, a fair advantage. He's kept the pace going right the way into the range. A little lucky there, high right edge, low right. That was uh, a good shot. And he finishes it off with another shot to the right. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, very, very good from Samuelson. This is it, that familiar position. So I said, that neck. I said yesterday he'd taken one centimeter off the, the butt. The back part of his rifle is actually two centimeters, but still reaching a long way, but it works so well. Yeah, a little bit low on that last shot, and surely this is going to be World Cup win number 49. I know it's early days to say that, but uh, when he skis like he's skiing today and he shoots the perfect score, didn't waste too much time in preparation, Mike, but still a little bit slower than he's been at his fastest. Well, here comes Samuelson. He's pushed hard over the last 500 meters. I think he knows what's at stake. Uh, he was leading at 8.3. He's got the lead at the 10-kilometer mark. Here comes Johannes Ting. 45 seconds clear last time we saw him he might just have extended that has he by a fraction not much Samuelson going down into second having put in a very very good finish but a brilliant performance by Johannes Tingisbo a second and uh, I dare say a first today oh look at this he can now chase uh second place or he'll go out possibly in second place maybe chasing first place last time we saw him he was having a look at uh, a crack at the top three christiansen on 51 is in trouble it's going to be sweden who uh, go on to the podium positions excellent run from <laughs> Potsaloma. he uh, was what 53 behind at 8.3 and that's uh, all, folks. Uh...